Hello, welcome back to Animated Literacy. This is lesson number 45 from the Story, Song, and Action book. In our last lesson, we learned about Edgar Elf and how he likes exercising in his envelope at the Emerald E Zoo next to Ellie Elephant's enclosure. So for his sound, we show exercising. So you can move your arms up and down like this and pretend like you're lifting heavy weights. Show your big muscles that you get from exercising and make his sound of eh. So now we took and we put the color picture of Edgar Elf onto our chart. And so you can see now our entire top row is filled in. So we know all of those sounds. And we know many other sounds going down our chart. So with all of those sounds, we have been able to make a lot of words. And we're going to be making some more words today with the characters and, and stories and songs that we know. Yesterday, I showed you a picture of some elves that my children drew. So one of the first things we always do in our lessons is talk about the things we know. And now you know some things about Edgar Elf. So you can talk with your teacher or your parent about elves and you can tell them what you remember about the story of Edgar Elf. And so here again are, are some pictures and we're going to be drawing an elf today. Something else you can talk about with your teacher and your parents are beds. And here's a couple Skybrary books that are nice to read when after you have talked about beds. This first one is about monkeys jumping on a bed. And it's an old rhyme that goes something like this. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. And there's a number of different books about the monkeys jumping on the bed. This is a book of poems. And the first poem in it is called My Foot Fell Asleep. And that's the title of the book. And this is about a boy who wakes up, but his foot doesn't. And all day long, his foot stays asleep, but his other foot wants to play with the one that's asleep and it can't play. Then when he finally decides to go to sleep at night, that foot wakes up and now he can't go to sleep. So that's a fun story to read about beds. So you can talk with your parents about the kind of bed you sleep in and when you go to bed and when you get up. Another topic that we're gonna be drawing to go along with today is about things that you can do in the snow and toys and, and articles that you use to help you play in the snow. So if you've ever been to the snow, you can talk to your parent or teacher about when you went to the snow, what you did in the snow, what you took with you to the snow. And finally, another topic we're gonna to be talking about is jets. And this is a Skybrary book called Jumbo Jets. And this is a true book, so you can find lots of information about jets. So you can talk with your teacher, your parents about if you've ever been in a jet, if you've ever seen in a jet, what it would be like to fly in a jet, where you might go if you were in a jet. So lots of things you can talk about to go along with jets. So we're going to get right into our drawing today because we have a lot of words to draw and I want to be sure that we have time to do all of those words so that you we can add more to our word wall of words that we can draw and label. So I told you we were going to draw an elf today. So let's see how we're going to draw our elf. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make the elf's eyes. So I'm going to go here on my paper and make a circle. Then I'm going to come over here and make another circle. So we've done that lots of times. Then I'm going to decide where I want my elf looking. And I think I'm going to have my elf looking right at me. So I put his dots right there. Now this elf has a nose that looks like a C for Crazy Camel. Then he has a smile with a curve. So you can make one curve, two curves, and three curves for his smile. Now we're going to make the elf's jaw. I'm going to start next to this eye, and I'm going to make a curve all the way around, and I'm going to stop when I get next to this eye. Now we're going to make the elf's scalp, or the top of his head. So I'm going to leave a space. I'm going to go over here 
and I'm going to stop before I get all the way around to his jaw. Now elves have very pointy ears, so we're going to make his ears like this. I'm going to start at my top line for the scalp, and I'm going to come up to a point and then back down to his jaw. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to come up to a point and come back to his jaw. Now this elf likes to wear a cap, so we're going to make his cap like this. I'm going to make little wavy lines going up to the top. Then I'm going to come over here and just above his ear I'm going to make some other wavy lines. Come all the way up to the top for his cap. And then we can give him a little top knot on top of his cap. Now my elf likes to wear kind of like a long bow tie. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to come up, down, and then come to the middle of his chin. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to start from this side, go up, straight down, and back over here. And then we can give a big circle and color it in for the knot. Okay, now we're going to draw one of our elf's arms. So I'm going to start here, just below his tie, and I'm going to come straight down, and I'm going to come in like this, and give him some fingers, come back around, and right straight back up. So there's an arm and a hand. His other arm was just going to dangle down like this. So I'm going to come straight down with two lines, put a hand at the end of it, like so. Now we're going to do the elf's shirt. So at the end of this arm, I'm going to come down and we're going to put some kind of little lines here at the bottom. So there's our elf's shirt. Now we're going to do the elf's legs. So I'm going to make two lines coming down. And an elf has a pointy shoe. So I'm going to make his shoe come up to a point around like so. And then we're going to make one for the other side. So I'm going to come down with two lines like so. Then I'm going to come up to a point around and there's the heel. So there's my elf and now his shirt has some buttons. So I'm going to give him three buttons but you can decide how many buttons you want to put on your elf. What's the first sound you hear in elf? Say elf. Eh, eh. eh for exercising. And what's one way to spell that sound? With an E. So when we make our E we're going to start with a straight line. Then we're going to come back over the top like a half circle. Then we're going to curve at the bottom but stop before we go all the way around. Now say the word elf again. Elf. Elf. You hear Lizzie Lamb sound there? Now our L is twice as tall as our E. Say elf again. Elf. Now there's my teeth on top of my lip and I'm blowing air. Who does that? Farley Fox. So show me fishing. And how do we spell his sound? One way is with an F. So there's a curve like a little hook and then a line. So what does that say? Elf. So I can tie my string to my elf. Now I want to rhyme with elf. So I had to kind of take a look at my rhyming book again because I was having a hard time coming up with a rhyme for elf. Well finally I came up with one. Let's see if you can figure out what word I ended up rhyming with elf. First, to rhyme it has to have the same rhyme as elf. An elf's name is entirely a rhyme because it starts with a vowel and then it has the ending. So we're going to write elf again. But leave a space so we've got room to write something at the front here. So we're going to put our E with a straight line, come back up over the top, and it's almost a circle but not quite. 
Make our L the straight line. And then our, oops, and then our F. There, well that worked out okay. Not a great F, but it, it'll work. Now, this next one, we're gonna need Sheriff Shadrach sound. And so Sheriff Shadrach goes, shh, and he shaves like this. He goes, shh. And to spell Sheriff Shadrach sound takes two letters. We know the letters, we just didn't know Sheriff Shadrach sound. First letter, leave a space here, because we need two, is an S, and then we're gonna come down with an H. And so that says, what? Shh, elf. Okay, let's do it again. Shh, elf. Can you figure it out what we're going to be drawing a picture of? We're gonna put our elf on a shelf. So now first we're gonna go here to, the, to his feet and make a straight line going across. Then we're going to make another straight line going across. And now we've got kind of a skinny rectangle. Then our shelf needs to be held up by something. So I'm gonna come down here. Now if you have more space, you can make your shelf stand up a little taller. But there's my shelf. So now what do I have? I have an elf on a shelf. Okay, now I told you we were going to draw something else. So we did um, a story that went, five little monkeys jumping on the bed, one fell off and bumped his head. Let's draw a bed next. Okay, so let's come here and make a straight line that goes across. Then come down just a little bit and make another straight line. So now we've got two parallel lines. Now we need some posts for the bed. So I'm gonna make, connect those with a straight line going down, connect these with a straight line going down, and then I'm going to put another parallel line right next to it another parallel line and a straight line at the bottom. Then I'm gonna put a little ball at the top of each one of those posts. Now in my bed, I like to sleep on a pillow, so I'm gonna make just a curved line like that for the pillow. And to hide the things that, that you might keep under your bed, you have like a little skirt that goes across the bottom. So there's a bed. Show me the first sound you hear in bed. B for bowing. Whose sound is that? Maybe Barnaby. <coughs> and how do we spell his sound? With a B. Let's go straight down. Add your curve. And there's B for bowing. What's the next sound you hear in bed? B. Eh. How does Edgar Elf spell that? With an E. So there's my straight line again. Back up with a half circle and around, but stop before we complete the circle. What's the last sound you hear in bed? Bed. Bed. Whose sound is that? Daisy Dragon. So we're gonna start that with a circle and then put our line after it. And that's almost the shape of the bed that we did. So there's a bed. Now I want a word that rhymes with my bed. So I had to look back again at the rhyming dictionary, even though it turns out I have one of these in my backyard. So let's see if you can guess what we're gonna draw that rhymes with bed. First, it has a roof like this, so I'm gonna make a really wide angle line to start like I would for an A. Then I'm gonna come down from each side. I'm gonna come across at the bottom and now this has a tall door, so it's going to go almost all the way up to the roof. It has a handle. And this one's made out of wood, so I'm going to give it some grain here. Okay. Now, I'm going to, now it's not very deep because this is not a house. So I'm going to come up a little bit here with a straight line. And up. And then back. Then that's got wood. Anybody guess what that is? 
I drew a picture of, let's see if you can figure it out. It starts like Sheriff Shadrach, just like we did for shelf. So how did we spell the sh for shaving sound? We used an S and an H. Then if it's going to rhyme, it has to use the same rhyme as bed. And what's the rhyme in bed? Ed. Ed is actually a name. In fact, my dad's name was Ed. So we're going to put my dad's name at the end of, of the SH. So a straight line and a curve, not quite a circle, and then a D at the end. So that says shed. Now what kinds of things might you keep in a shed? You might keep tools in a shed. You might keep toys in a shed. And here's a, a toy that you might keep in your shed. So let's see if you can guess what I'm drawing this time. So we'll do another mystery draw. I'm going to come with a straight line next to the bed. Then I'm going to come angle in just a little bit. I don't want it to be too wide and connect. Then we'll give it a little bit of thickness. So I'll come down with two very short lines and then come up with another little short line. And this is wood. So I'm going to put some wood grain there again. Now it has a thing that comes out like this. Curve then back down that goes all the way underneath like this okay now here just like we did for the shelf we're going to put two little parts put a line to connect those and then come up just like you did here and back so what did we draw a picture of did you guess? Let's see if we, let's put the letters and see if you guessed right. This is a, starts with an S. What's the sound for S? S surfing. Here's our L again. We did a lot of L's today. Oh, laying your head on lemon leaves. And now we need my dad's name. E, E for exercising, circle, and a line for D, D for dancing. Let's see if we can figure out what we drew. Sled. Did you guess sled? If you guess that's a sled for playing and sliding down hills in the snow, then you got it right. Okay. Um, let's do another word that has Edgar Elf sound in it. Let's start this word with a straight line, another straight line again underneath it, and then connect your two straight lines with a curve. So you've got those close together. Now we're going to make a wing. So we're going to come out like this and back, out like this and back. Then we're going to do the same thing back here, but we're going to make it smaller and try to do the same thing on the other side. Then there needs to be something for the pilot to be in. And there needs to be a couple engines here. So I'll make a couple engines. Can you guess what we drew a picture of this time? Let's see if you got it right. Let's put a J with a little hook and a dot on top. Now we need Edgar Elf sound again. What's Edgar? Eh, exercise, eh. Let's put a straight line around with our curve again. And let's put a T. Let's see if we get those sounds together. Ready? J -et. Again, jet. What do we draw a picture of? Oh, we've got a jet. Now this next one, I'm going to write the word, but I'm not going to draw the picture. After we finish, I'm going to let you draw your own picture. And let's start it with a P. What's Polly Panda's sound? P painting. Let's make our E again. E. 
exercising and let's put a t at the end of it. Put it in a circle and I'm going to put a question mark here because I want you to figure out whoop, I did that question mark backwards. Let me so here's what a question mark looks like. Sometimes no, I did it right. There. Question mark. Okay. I want you let's put those sounds together. At. P at. What's that word say? Pet. What could you have as a pet? We've already drawn a cat. We drew a puppy. We drew a dog. So here you can choose whatever you want to be your pet and draw your picture of it and tie the string to it. Let's do just a couple other words here. This elf has a, what's your sound for L? Wool. What's your sound for E? Eh. And what's your sound for G? G. Can you put those sounds together? Leg. 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 So we can tie the string to his leg. Okay, now you could also write his head. You could write arm. We know how to do that one. So you can do those on your own after we finish. Okay, so now we need a place to use that. So let's see what song we can do today. This is one of my favorite songs to play with. So let's um, take a look at the words here. This is called One Elephant. And this elephant is going to go out and play on a spider web. Then in the next verse, we don't have an elephant. What do we have? A frog. What's he going to play on? This one rhymes. A frog on a log. So listen to what this sounds like on our recording. So one elephant went out to play upon a spider's web one day. So can you sing that with the tape? One elephant went out to play upon a spider's web one day. She had such enormous fun that she called for another elephant to come. Now here we're going to have a green frog. Only we should have two. Two green frogs went out to play upon a big wet log one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another green frog to Okay, well, if you drew on the back of this page, you can just turn it over. If you drew on a separate page, then we can pass out your copy of this, and now we can make our own verse for the elephant. So put your finger on the one on your page. One elephant, but, or we didn't draw an elephant though. What did we draw? We drew an elf. So let's put our word that we drew into our circle. What was the first sound in elf? Eh. What was the next sound? Ol. And what was the last sound? One. What kind of an elf did we do? Well, I can look here and find a color word. And I think I'm going to make my elf green today. So if I copy that off the chart, green is spelled g r two e's, e, and an n. And we'll be learning the story and song for n a little later. So now put your finger on it and let's see what we've got so far. One green elf went out to play upon a now we need a word that rhymes with elf. What word did we draw that rhymes with elf? We drew a shelf. So let's write shelf again, just like we did on our paper. So it started with SH for Sheriff Shadrach shaving. And then we have the word elf again. Eh, o, f. Okay, now we need two words 
to rhyme with shelf. Let's choose a color. And there's a color that has Edgar Elf sound in it. Let's see what that color is. Let's put a straight line and a little hook for an R. Rrr. Straight line and almost a circle for E for E. Eh. And D with a straight with a circle. And now let's put those together. Red. Red. Red shelf. But now we need another word to describe our shelf. And when we drew our picture of our shelf, we drew one that was flat. So how can we write our word flat? Let's listen to the sounds in it. Say flat. Farley Fox's sound. Flat. L for laying on lemon leaves. Flat. A for adding. T, T for tickling. So let's go back and do that again. One green elf went out to play upon a flat red shelf one day. She had such enormous fun that she called for another green elf to come. And so down here, I wrote green elf. Now you can by yourself put the word green and then put the word elf, and now you've got a whole verse again. And then up at the top, you can draw your picture of your elf on playing on the green shelf. So I hope you had a good time drawing today. We made a lot of words, so we're gonna be adding a lot of things to our chart. And the next time I see you, we will have a new character, a new sound, and then we can make lots more words. So enjoy finishing the lesson from today, and I hope to see you next time.